monsieur. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Okay, you sure give am. me everything Please you've got. Quick. Fine folks are okay. their valuables. Mr. Ass, check that room back there. I got this room. Nice. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my people see inside. Do you I want me to frisk them? Or you the got this? And let my acquaintance in. Yeah. Of course. Check them all, Mr. M. I don't want anyone feeling left out. Come on. These people are itching to part with their valuables. Why aren't you taking donations, Mr. M? You're sure? Yes! Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave! We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe! Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them off, fellas. Look out on the right. We got some of those alleyways, Arthur. Stand up on that balcony. Uh, we got some riders coming up. Arthur, help Lenny out there. Things broke. Hold on! Oh! 
O'Driscoll's tell us in camp now that we need to wake up. We'll wake up after we get the hell out of here. Okay, boss, let's go. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? 
What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all.